I grew up in the Blue Mountains and for my family and I, it was fire was a part of our lives, something you'd just have to face at some point. This year, we protected my father's house from two different fires, from two different directions, only a few hours apart. December the 21st, 2019, the fires in Australia have been burning for five months. It was the worst drought on record, the hottest and the driest conditions ever recorded. And without any rain, the fires were just gonna keep burning. The conditions were predicted to be catastrophic, and it was. The weather reports for the 21st of December was 39 degrees Celsius, massive winds, super dry conditions and extremely hot. And that's what it was. I'm here in Dargan, out Valley View Road with, at my father's house. Over here is Clarence, you can see that's on fire. Uh, we've been waiting about two weeks for the fire to get here and today the fire came in. It actually came in from Lithgow, which no one expected. The first fire came in at about two o'clock. It came from the, the westerly direction towards Lithgow and it was so loud and so noisy. The fire sounds like the engines of a, a jumbo jet. But to add to that, the generators from the fire truck and the helicopters in the sky, the fury of the fire, it just it creates a really chaotic atmosphere. But the fire was burning about 100 metres away and was heading in a direction away from us. So for two or three hours, we just watched and waited for the fire, but it didn't come to us because the wind didn't change. But unfortunately, that fire had burnt many houses on the street. About seven o'clock, the fire from the west had changed direction. Right now, on the back of the house, there's a fire towards Bell or coming out the back of Hartley. That's to the east, to the north, to the west. Excuse my language, but fuck me, it is all around. We knew the southerly was coming in and when it came in, it came so strong and the smoke, all this huge black smoke filled the sky behind us and that fire was so ferocious that the captain of the fire brigades came in and evacuated all the fire trucks and, and told us to go as well and we thought it best that we should go because nothing would survive the ferocity of that fire that was coming. So this is as bad as it gets. The fire kicked up on the ridge on the other side of the valley and now it's coming up. There was no wind before, but the fire has made its own weather systems. And so you can't see anything, it's smoky and uh, the fire's on its way. We've got five. We went to the fire station to wait out the fire and I was so nervous and so antsy, I just couldn't sit still. But there were many people at the fire station who had lost their houses. And you can't imagine the look on people's faces who had just lost everything in an instant. Sad and in shock and lost. Lost is the word. So we drove up the driveway and it, it, it was pitch black, there's no street lights, there's no power. Most of the houses are burnt, so you can't see anything. And you're in this eerie, gloomy smoke. And we're so nervous driving up the driveway, but in the distance, out of the gloom of the smoke, we could see this structure and the house was still standing. We were so relieved. My dad and my stepmother and I so relieved. We drove up behind the house and 
the escarpment and the big valley behind the house hadn't burned, but the fire was still burning about 100 metres away. By this point, it was about 9.30 at night, so we went and got all the fireys. And then eight, ten crews came, and then for the next three to four hours, we watched the, the fire creep along behind the back of the house, and the conditions were still very strong, even without the wind. Of course it would have burnt the structures if we weren't there. But the house survived. We were emotional and exhausted, but the house had survived. In the morning it was like a war zone. It was utter devastation. The fire was so ferocious so angry angry was the word that most people used the fire seemed to be so angry and everyone we spoke to every fiery we spoke to left right green conservative center regardless of your political leanings they all said the same thing it was a changing climate so is this the new normal did we do everything right leading up to the fires or are we utilising the indigenous knowledge of the land and land management? We were utterly exhausted and emotional, but we were the lucky ones.